there were lots of homemaker clubs. That was pre-TV, pretty near pre-telephone, and uh, people just didn't have the opportunity to learn things that we do now. So we were the whole source of information, and it was really interesting because People were interested. They couldn't go to internet. They couldn't just listen to the TV. They just believed what the agent said. <laughs> My very first demonstration was on how to cook tough meat. And I said it has to be done with liquid. So this one lady, actually the governor's wife, said, well, how do you cook tough meat without water? And I said, you don't. <laughs> we had quite a go around. I was just a little little girl that didn't know anything, and she was the big shot. <laughs> it was fun. Whenever I gave homemaker demonstrations, they were almost always in the kitchen of someone's home, and there would be five to ten little kids crawling all over the floor under your feet. And it was just a good family affair. Nobody worried about the kids, and I finally learned to quit worrying about them. <laughs> we had everything. We had sewing, we had cooking, we had financial management, we had parenting. We had any subject that was related to homemaking. I uh, had a meeting in Lander one night and ended up on sleeping in my car all night up on South Pass, so I guess my poor roommate was about to have a heart attack. That was pre, pre cell phone days too. And so I just curled up in my little bedroll and laid down in the back of the seat. Then about the time the sun came up, there was a knock on the window. There was a patrolman. He said, we've got the road plowed now. You can go. <laughs> I just know it's a good job because of the variety of people, the fact that you're still the boss, but you're not because actually they're all your bosses. And uh, you do get terrific, terrific report and support from the university, and that certainly helps. Well, I think the philosophy of extension work is to help people help themselves and promote their welfare and their education and so that they can do more things on their own and feel like they have a place to come to as a resource. That was one thing we did have Lots of specialists so we could find out information on almost anything anybody asked us. Even if we didn't know what we could call Laramie. We've grown up a lot. The whole country has. And I think there's definitely still a place for extension, but it's going to have to keep up with the modern times, that's for sure. <laughs>